Yes. OK, it's time for our next problem. It's called I've Bent His Thingy, and it requires a lady's name. And I think there's only one person that we can ask <laughs> for a name is Grumpy Tash. Uh, let's see <laughs> what, what, we can, what you can do for us with a lady's name, please. Lady's name, Grumpy yes. Tash. Um, Rose. Rose, right. Do you know in. why I said that? Because I'm staring at a bunch of flowers and there isn't a single rose in the bunch of flowers, but I couldn't <laughs> name any of them, so I had to say rose. <laughs> oh, well, rose or hyacinth. We'll go with rose. Dear Uncle Si, Uncle David Posh Tash, says Rose, I reversed the car into the garage too quickly and I backed it into my husband's motorbike. It's a big one and I had to ask my best friend's husband to come and help <laughs> me pick it up. He said it's a really nice one. An Indian or an Indian thingy? Yes. Anyway, it's got a few bent bits now where it fell over, but I don't want to admit what I did to my hubby. So I've got my best friend's husband to swear to secrecy, and my own fella won't ride it until the summer. So what are the chances I'm going to get away with this? Do bits of motorbikes just wear out and fall off? Will he think it's just naturally falling apart? Any other ideas, please, on what excuses I could use if he asked me about it? I've bought all your books, so in return, can you offer me a biker's excuse, please? Asks Rose. Over to you. Um, no. No. <laughs> no. Uh, you, you, you're just going to have to tell him that you've reversed the car into it because if he's fastidious about his bike, and he obviously knows him because he's chosen an Indian over a Harley Davidson if he's into that sort of thing, uh, yeah, she's going to have to get it fixed and come clean. Ah. You know, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rose, but there is no other answer. Yeah, I think by showing willing, actually just organising to get it fixed. Stick your hands up. I've yeah. bent your bike. I've organised. They're going to be picked up. It's going to come back to you. So it's perfect for the summer. And, um, you know, I, I think yeah. the finances are relevant. You should take that on board, really. I've got to tell you, I, the second day a few years ago when Lil got a new car, I did open the door in a car park and didn't the door. Uh, and it was two <laughs> days old, the car. And the only unfortunate thing is she was with me in it. Now, I would have lied, actually, had I got away with it myself. To be fair, I would have gone, some in a car park has done this. But obviously she was in the car too, so I was stuffed, really. But she never let me forget that. Mm. Yeah, do you know what? I did, I'm really not, I pride myself on being quite a good driver. And, and I don't like it when women drivers let you down. So I've always been quite proud uh, that I can... I do well and I don't have accidents. I've never really crashed the car. A bollard jumped out at me when I was about 19. I know that. And annoyingly, last week, last Wednesday, a tree also jumped out at me at the back of the car. Um, but I was just reversing in a car park and uh, our, our car is a year old or so. We've got an electric car. And um, my husband had just literally an hour before brought it back from the garage where there'd been a rattle in the boot. And off I drove in very rainy circumstances, I'll be honest. And I went to park it and this tree just came out of nowhere behind and stuck a dent in the back of the car. And Do you know, it's it's wrong, Tash, because those trees that have legs are a yeah. bloody nuisance. That's all they are. They just uproot. You don't know yeah. where they're going to go willy-nilly across the car park and smash into your car. It's yeah, shocking. unbelievable. I know they never had them around here. Next no? step, Triffids. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And plants start to walk and abuse your vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> what I pinch did you do, though. Pinch your children, your shopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be nice. <laughs> oh, we've had some ones with bikes, actually. Obviously, over the years, you know, we're looking at people, people have said to us on the bikers, so are they your own bikes? Well, no, we're not daft. Um, no, and it's BBC, so we... It, 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 you know, in a commercial world, we could be sponsored and make vast amounts of money. And to be fair, then, we'd ride anything. But... Um, but no, we've got choice over the bikes and the kind of a nominal rents paid by the BBC for like a press bike. So it means we can change all the time and have a bit of fun. But we we have sent some of the bikes back in a sorry old state that you'd never. <laughs> Do you remember that time, Kingy, that, that my bike was parked in a hotel and uh, she was a home. Ec she knows who she is. Anyway, it was a beautiful, it was a triumph. It was on Food Tour of Britain. And a seagull had pooed all over it, like in spectacular fashion. Anyway, oh, yes. she decided to clean it all off with a scouring pad. Oh, God. <gasps> no. Yes. Explain that when you took it back to Triumph dealership. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. I haven't a clue. <laughs> but mind you, those bikes, we, they, they, they blew over, didn't they, once? Do you remember the weather was that bad? 
gosh. They both flew over outside yeah, the that hotel. Was a, that was rough. That was a rough shoot, that man. Yeah. Oh, hey. It was great fun, but my God, the weather was shocking. Shocking. The worst winter we'd had in, like, 10 years and me, Dave and I were the, literally the only two bikes on the road oh. we never saw another biker for, for three months Jan- <laughs> January February March they were all like who are those two idiots you're 15,000 <laughs> miles that winter and people say do you actually ride the bikes and I think one of the worst trips was it was the worst winter on record for ages and on January the 2nd we started filming at Land's End so that meant January the 1st, we both set up from our respective homes in Cumbria and Newcastle, and we met in Bristol for an overnight, and it was just, I can remember that night, I was lying in the bottom of a shower tray trying to warm up, and we went for a curry, <laughs> didn't we, King, and we were both absolutely yeah. wrecked, and then like, suddenly realised yeah. that, you know, the SAF isn't all that small, really, it's a long <laughs> way from Bristol to Cornwall the next day, and then we were up on a trawler first thing at six o'clock in the morning, oh... God. Hardcore. But then, well, we had to ride the bikes back as well at some point. The crew go home in their air-conditioned doodars. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Well, was... if you must pick that mode of transport. <clears throat> the hairy drivers doesn't sound quite as good, does it, with a car with a roof. So while well, you've got the bikes, I always look in the summer, you must be so hot in those leathers. And in the winter, you must be so cold against the elements. I, I have yet to see the joy. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, you just don't know, Tash. It's joyous. It's absolutely joyous. It's great. Nice, uh, it's you know. a great feeling. Oh, it's yeah. just wonderful, man. It's wonderful. Yeah, but I think back to, the, back to the point, I think she's yeah. got to stick her hands up or else the, the, you can't say, you know, the, the dog ate my homework, really. It's what's caused the dents and knocked a bike over in a garage. You know, it doesn't work, does it? No. Shall I give her some confidence? Because I did, for a split second, when that tree jumped out at me, I did for a split second think... How do I cover this one up? I didn't look at it for a, you know, a good five, ten minutes. I was too scared to see it. I thought it might disappear if I didn't look at the dent. The noise had implied the dent wouldn't be small. Um, but I then, I then decided, just tell him. So I texted him immediately and went, I've totally messed up. I'm so sorry. I have stuck a dent in the back of the car. I've not looked at it yet, but I am sorry. I just thought I'd say sorry straight away and give my husband his dues. I wasn't expecting a rant. He went... As long as you're both okay, we'll sort it out. It's not the end of the world. Oh, oh lovely. So that is the nice side of it. And if you end of the day, if this husband, Rose's husband, can just, if she puts her hands up and go, I'm sorry, I will fix it. Accidents happen. I'll sort it out. She'll go, but I'm still here. Isn't that the bonus? <laughs> <laughs>